welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am trying something a little bit weird. <laughs> um, I have got my spinner. Now this is a children's pottery wheel um, and the link should be in the description. If it's not, remind me and I will give it to you. Um, it's just a battery operated kids pottery wheel. Um, now, what I normally do is I normally put records or canvases on there. <laughs> this, on the other hand, is a t-shirt. And I've got a bit of square metal, which is a sign that I bought to paint on, but I haven't got around to doing that yet. And I have stretched the t-shirt, well not stretched, smoothed the t-shirt and fixed it with a couple of bits of tape um, just to to get it so that it stays pretty much flat <laughs> you can hear by my voice and my um, concerned giggles that I really have no idea what's gonna happen with this um, I've got a old takeaway container here which is attached with sticky tape to my spinner and I'm gonna put the bulk of the t-shirt into there to try and keep it flat obviously this has got a lot of hopes and dreams running on it um, trying to just try to tuck all those excess bits of t-shirt into into there just so that we can try and get it to be a vaguely level. Uh, and if you're wondering what I'm doing, I have a box um, which is around my spinner to stop my entire space being covered in paint, which is what ha tends to happen. And, um, and that is high on the end. So, it's all mounted in there, and uh, now it's time to put some paint on. <laughs> um, this idea was actually given to me by one of my um, long-time viewers, Rosemary, um, and I just, I just like to acknowledge all of you that make comments on the the videos. And, and let me know, you know, any ideas that you have. There's so many of you that message me with ideas and suggestions on what I could try. And I have so many ideas. It's so amazing. And I'm really bad at writing down who gave me the ideas. So I really apologize profusely um, when I don't acknowledge you by name. So what are we going to do? I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a pour while it's spinning. So I'm going to try and layer the colours into this tin which has been bent so that it... Um, hang. So what, what paints am I using? I'm going to have another go with these Stylin Art um, Paint for Fashion Accessories. T-shirts is one of the things that it says that it's good for. Now the only thing is, I have used up all the pouring medium that Deco Art sent me when they sent me these paints. And so I am now going to go um, back to my favourite so far, um, Floetrol. And I'm going to mix it, I've mixed them up um, in respect to the same proportions as I do with well no no I haven't that's a lie um how I've mixed them is I've mixed flow troll and water uh, no no water crikey Michelle your brain is not functioning today um so just flow troll and paint till it's running to a similar consistency all the way through all of them Although that blue seems a lot thicker than that pink. 
this is one of the interesting things guys just be aware that different colors even of the same brand will function differently and you may need to put more or less or something um, to get the same consistency see that has that beige has thickened up as well so I'm just gonna pause the video and remix okay I'm happier now <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to put silicon in the aqua and the pink, but not the blue, the purple or the white. Um, oi, whoops, we don't need to, there's plenty of silicon to go around. Right, um, so let's start off with, oops, I did get some silicon in the white. How's it getting better than that? So I'm going to put some white in. And then some aqua. And then some purple. You gotta remember when we are pouring while it's spinning, it creates all sorts of interesting things. So Uh, yeah. <laughs> How does it get any better than this? <sighs> All right. I'm going to give it a go. Let's see. It's a $4 t-shirt. It's a paint and flow troll. Let's see what magic we can create. Um, this has got two settings. It's a bit noisy, so I apologise for the upcoming noise. Um, it's got two settings, and I'm going to go for the fast one. but it's definitely paint flying off the sides you can see down here now that looks pretty funky imagine what that's going to be like when we <laughs> wear that I wonder wow can you guys see that very clearly let me zoom you in check that out <laughs> this is bizarre through here I'm wondering if that's where silicon is Right, so, zoom me back out just a little bit, let's get some warmth on that, see what the silicon's doing, if I can find my torch, oh I know where it is, alright, so, I do highly recommend torching um, when you've 
down the spin because it does add little cells in there it definitely adds a interesting um, amount of bubbles when you're spinning like that so even if you're not using silicon giving it a little bit of a torch to to be able to Mmm. All right, I'm going to get you down and show you what we've got close up without the zoom on. And um, this is just going to be one of those ones that you just leave to dry, come back once it's dry and see what happened. <laughs> I think it's pretty though. I like it. All right, so let's do the middle bit first. There is some cells in there. There is lots of zigzag from the pouring. And then there's that weird blue bit. Not sure what's, what's gone on there, but I like it. The other cool thing is the way the the motliness of the spikes. If I can get it to stay focused. I'm not sure how well that's going to stay as it sinks into the material. It's definitely going to give that multicolored impression. See, in some places you can really clearly see the paint. Come on, focus. So I like that. I like that a lot. What else is possible, huh? Right, so I'll be back once this is dry to see what magic it's created and to put it on and show you guys how cool it looks. I'll talk to you soon in three, two, one. All right, so here it is. Um, it's dried. It has definitely lost some of its definition with the, um, what's that thing called? The texture of the fabric. Um, but you can still see the lines. It's still there. It's just not as intense as it was. So let's get it off this board and see what shows up once we start to bend it because that is always a good test of any fabric paint bum, 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 la, 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 la. all right so how well is it stuck if the socks were anything to go by could be quite well So where it's dripped over, it's kind of gripping, which is quite funny. A little, little hang it's clinging on. And that centerpiece has definitely 
stuck. Somebody recommended the other day on the socks video that um, maybe put butcher paper or something else like that underneath, which would have been a good idea. But there she blows, guys. Um, we have quite a funky looking t-shirt. I like it and obviously it will need to be washed to realign the fabric but let's put it on and see what it looks like on the body first of all I'm going to do a bit of a stretch test because I'm a bit of a stretch monger when it comes to clothing <laughs> in the chest area at least Hmm, not sure I like this ripple effect, although it does look funky. It looks like a splosh in the middle of a pool and the ripple's going out. Let's try it on and see what it looks like on. I'm not sure about the design for my bust size. <laughs> it kind of accentuates the bust line, but that's okay. It looks pretty cool. It does, from a distance though, only look like a bit of a blue blob. But... If you see me in the street, you know it's me. <laughs> uh, how does it get any better than that? So, once it's on, the stretchies definitely, well, where it stretches, it's going to stay stretched until you take it off, isn't it, really? Um, so it'll be interesting to see how these thin lines last in the wash process. Uh, as you know, I always give you updates on how things are going and um, that's that's how these are going. The, uh, let me get you down and show you. I can't see what I'm showing you. There we go. The jeans are doing all right. They've been through the wash. They are still very, oh, where are you? Rigid. Um, and I would, if you're going to do the bottoms of your jeans like this, I'd make sure they are the right length on you beforehand because this kind of sitting up puckered thing isn't, to me, the most attractive. But there you go, guys. That's my, um, my clothing attempt. <laughs> Again, and thanks so much for joining me. I have had fun with this one. Thank you, Rosemary, for the idea. And what else is possible? What ideas do you have that you'd like me to try? I don't know. Let me know and I will see if I want to try them or not. I adore you all. Come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And uh, what else is possible when you're willing to ask and receive? Bye-bye.